Daily life and leisure activities. The Spartans lived thousands of years ago, so naturally they didn't have electricity, they didn't have TV, they didn't have computers, they didn't have internet, they didn't fly on aeroplanes, and they didn't have cars. But they still had their own daily life and their own activities that they enjoyed. And so we'll be taking a closer look at, at those activities uh, in this lesson. Daily life. The focus of the Spartans was on the military, but they still had some time for leisure. We know about their leisure activities through archaeological evidence, scenes painted on pottery, and the written evidence of Greek writers, such as Thucydides, uh, Herodotus and Xenophon. These types of evidence provide many insights into the kinds of leisure activities the Spartans enjoy. And in this particular picture, we can see one type of evidence, I mean, one type of activity they enjoyed, and that is chariot racing. It was popular in ancient Greece, it was popular in Sparta, and also popular in Rome. In Rome, they had the Circus Maximus, where they had 250,000 people come out and watch the chariot races. And they liked chariot races in Sparta as well. They also liked hunting, horse racing, feasting and drinking, singing and dancing, of course chariot racing. Does any of that sound familiar? Most of those things people still do today. Even in Australia today we have the Melbourne Cup horse race. They say it's the, the race that stops a nation and people watch it on TV. Even when I was a kid in school. We used to watch the Melbourne Cup horse race when I was a kid in a Catholic school. We actually used to watch it at school. So uh, horse racing is very popular in Australia today. Obviously feasting and drinking, everyone likes to eat and drink. Singing and dancing, what are the most popular TV shows today? The X Factor, a singing show, is one of the most popular shows on television today. So you know, singing, dancing, all these things are things we still do today and the things that were loved in ancient Sparta. And Sparta was a very tough society. It was a militaristic society, but they still enjoyed these types of things as well. They liked athletics, running, wrestling, discus, that's where you throw a disc, it's like a disc, you throw it. Javelin, that's where you throw something that's like a spear. And obviously these types of things would also help um, develop their military skills. I mean, if you're going to be in the army, you need to do running and wrestling and be fit. You need to be able to throw things, that, you know, attack the enemy. So these were fun things that they liked to do, but they also would have helped them become better soldiers as well. I mean, you need to be fit and healthy to be in the army. And they also competed in the Olympics. You know, the ancient Greeks started the Olympics in 776 BC, and uh, the Spartans would have done wrestling running, discus and javelin and so on, so they could participate in those things in the Olympics and compete against other Greek city-states. So the Spartans were similar to us. I mean, they didn't have the technology that we do. They didn't have TVs and, and they didn't go to the cinemas and watch a movie. You know, they didn't have cars and so on, but they still liked things that most people do today. They still liked singing and dancing, eating, drinking, you know, running and all that sort of thing. You know, running, wrestling, discus, javelin, uh, things that we do today. Uh, you know, people do running for exercise. People do these sorts of things at the Olympics today. So in some ways, life hasn't changed much and life isn't that much different. The only real, the big difference is that we've got the technology to do other things. You know, but the Spartans in many ways were very similar to us, I think. 